What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to another week of our top five rankings as we rank the top five horses in the country, uh, no matter, you know, what age or what surface they're running on, anything like that. Um, so, as I've mentioned before, I, I rank the top 10 horses every week in the NTRA Thoroughbred poll, and it's, uh, you know, a poll where a bunch of, like, the media types of people uh, will, will rank horses. It has been nearly impossible all year. You know, last year pretty easy. This year it has just been like, man, I don't even know who to rank. I don't, I don't know. Uh, We've just kind of been all over the place. I'll kind of explain. I'll give you the top ten after I give you the top five, and kind of just see how this is just completely wide open this year as far as who's going to win horse of the year. So top five, I'll go ahead and get to it. Number five is Nest for me. I'll go through these a little bit quicker because they really haven't changed a whole lot. Nest number five for me. Yes, uh, she beat Clarier very, very easily, but. It was only one race. We've only seen Nest one time. It was a four horse field. She got the jump on Clarier. I mean, uh, you know, it, it's great. I think she is a better horse than Clarier, but it's one race and it was four horses. So she needs to do a lot more to jump up on this list. Number four is Clarier to me because she has danced a lot more dances. She's a multiple grade one winner this year. Like I said, she ran second to Nest in that one race uh, that we saw them match up this season. And, you know, Clary Eric, a horse that comes from behind, she's never going to win in a four-horse field when there's a horse like Nest in front of her. But, uh, you know, if she gets beat again, you're going to have to move her down the list. But right now, I'll keep Clary Air at number four. Number three, Cody's Wish, another horse that's lost, but um, still has a resume better than most of the other horses running right now. So that's the big deal uh, with Cody's Wish. And that's what I'll point out here in a second. Um, Cody's Wish stays at number three, a great miler. Going to be really tough to beat at a mile, but definitely a disappointing third in the Whitney. Number two, up to the mark. This horse has been nothing short of fantastic uh, in the last couple of races on the turf. Multiple grade one winner on the turf, including the Manhattan. The bad news, there's an injury. Small injury has set this horse back. Probably not going to make the Breeders' Cup. That means he's probably going to fall down this list. He's kind of a placeholder then as of right now, but somebody's got to pass him. I don't know who that is just yet. Number one, Elite Power. I do think he's a lock right now at number one. He's a pretty strong number one. However, he's a sprinter, and, you know, you just don't weight that quite as strongly as the routers or routers in this country. So we'll see what happens. This sprinter, number one, elite power, he has been brilliant. I Like I said, I think he's a clear number one right now, but he's got a better chance to kind of get passed um, by, by brilliant performances, let's say, from uh, you know, horses going two turns. Speaking of that, let's look at this. So I, I, like I said, here's six through 10 that I have right now. Number six is Forte, and I think I've got him overrated, but I think he is, you know, right there because it's just like, man, I just don't know who else to kind of rank. And the one thing he can, you know, really do well is show up every time. He's run, He runs good every single time, uh, you know, three wins and a second. If he wins the Travers, honestly, he's going to be like in the top three. Um, it's a big if, though, but I, I just think his consistency is great. But he's also a three-year-old. You know, these other horses are older, been facing tougher competition. So it'll be interesting. But he, I've got Forte at six. Why to Barrio at number seven? If he can run that type of race again that we saw in the Whitney, he's going to move up to number one probably. But it was just one race. His other races haven't been that great. So I've got him at number seven right now. He could easily move up that list, though. Number eight is Casa Creed. He's been fantastic uh, going one mile on the turf, uh, especially up at Saratoga. Number nine, Rattle and Roll. And number 10, Gunite. So these horses can move up this list pretty quickly. Just one more win, and they will. But it all just kind of seems like they're meshing together right now. And I think that's why Elite Power is such a standout. He's very consistent. He's winning races. He hasn't had a hiccup. Some of these other ones, are they're injured or they, they couldn't, you know, win at a mile and eighth like Cody's Wish or this or that. So it's kind of a it's kind of a mess right now. But to review, top five for another week, Nest number one, Clarier two, or excuse me, Nest number five, Clarier number four, Cody's Wish three, up to the mark two, Elite Power number one. A lot to be decided in the next four or five, uh, well, not four or five months, but at least two or three months uh, as we're into August heading in uh, to uh, – Oddly enough, we're a couple of weeks away from the Travers, and then it's Breeders' Cup season. So a lot going to be decided this year at the Breeders' Cup. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this one. Hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this, and we'll see you next week. 
RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.